Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Master of Orion 2 Ultra Difficulty. With me, Get Daved, we have uh, a nice Antaran attack to look forward to. We're just going to let the colony burn because I can't take my foot off the gas pedal. And we need some more transports because we're about to go after the clack on homeworld. That's no small matter. And we might as well build them at a few different locations. Oh, I feel bad derailing this project of theirs. Wow. Um, actually, the starbase would be super useful too, so I'm not going to bump the stock exchange ahead of it, because that'll give us command points. And indirectly, that's cash, baby. Sweet, sweet cash. One second here. Do they have food replicators? The computer loves building them. I don't love using them. They're expensive. <laughs> and there we go. I just saved 10 BCs a turn. Multiply that by every, by every colony. That's your profitability margin. Uh, Jordanus as well. As soon as we get plasma rifle, we're going to be able to upgrade the fleet quite a bit. So, you know, just so you know. I forgot to check one thing. Did I look at the buildings? Good. Apparently transports are still using Tritanium armor. That could be me misreading things though. All right. Oh dear. 11 battleships. We'll call that an equivalent force to 12 battleships. And a frigate that's probably gonna be impossible to hit because of my computer situation. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I guess the Antarans attacked the Cylons <laughs> and destroyed them. And since I have a warp interdictor, their fleet couldn't get there on time to help them. And what once was theirs is now going to be mine. Hmm, if I do antimatter drive, I can reach their colonies faster, and that's an achievement. And aside from that, like if they if the Clackons have inertial stabilizer, an electronic computer is just not gonna cut it. Alright, let's pump over a couple of my population units. Robotic Factory will really get them a nice production base as well. Okay. Yeah, they have Deep Core Mine. They're set. More transports. Alright, once that arrives... Still haven't closed the gap. Men's Agitat. Some nice parody in the vote. Uh, this is probably going to be able to get a huge firepower upgrade. That increases the size and cost by 50% to increase our accuracy by 25. No, that's too terrible. Why, why would you even bother with that? I think they grossly overestimated how useful that would be. So we'll just throw a whole bunch of phasers on there. Ah, but electronic computers so terrible. This is probably enough. I mean, if we can get past their fleet. They only have one battleship, though. If 
they attack me. Uh, we'll queue these up. Those are good background tasks to have. Might as well do... Re oh no, it's a poor planet. Yeah, technically it does pay for itself on trade goods, though. Only on ultra poor does it not. And even then, barely. I'm gonna switch you to marginal research returns. They left. Okay, let's crush their capital. Actually, I forget if unifications have capitals. I think the answer might be no. We don't, like, believe in governance, man. Yeah, they have anti-matter drives, so their evade is even better. Huh. Well, they don't have flux shields yet, so we're still in business. We don't have to embarrassingly try for peace quite yet. All right, we're through. Good to know that that's possible. That's yeah, probably fine. Looks like we did not get the antimatter drive bonus quite yet. Yeah, useless. I don't even know why I'm keeping any of them on there, but anyway. We should be able to finish off all their marines this turn, I hope. Not that we were really in a hurry on that. I can afford to keep divvying things up. Yeah, we're fine. They don't have plasma rifles, we do. Bad guys win, good guys lose. Alright, power through. Woo! That was quite a turn. Careful and details oriented. Everything should be just fine. It'd be really nice if we had uh, telepathic and could just hijack their starbase. That'd be really great. I'd enjoy that. I gotta remember to transfer my leaders to a good ship. Technically, I could keep firing on it and hope to get through. Whoops. Um, and destroy systems, but it's just not worth it. Um, keep the autopilot on hold here, just until I see what's going on. Yeah, fighter garrison, great. I mean, they're going to be able to launch a second round of fighters kind of soon. I'm just going to do this to spread out the damage a bit. Hopefully let it catch up on its, uh, you know, repairs. Yeah, let's go one in. So we do what? 300 damage per turn? I forget if I calculated that out loud before or not. A little bit more than that. So three turns for one structure. Here we go. Not quite up at having that or anything, but it'll do. Yay! It's crazy, one damage per neutron blaster. Just because of the way the game worked out, um, never really did get to enjoy the phase where the neutron blaster is super effective, but 
because it's got a high ceiling on its damage, it does 3 to 12. So it's an average of 7.5. But because of the way more accurate hits do the high end of damage, you know, a hit tends to do a lot. 24 infantry, we're home free. This is the home world. Please give me tech. Boom. Okay. Hmm. I was really hoping for a computer. Okay. I think I have to prioritize that. Also. Android scientists, hey? Yes. He's cheap and I'm not going to be getting... Uh, Admiral Lochnar. Oh man, they took Cybernetic. That's pretty cool. Okay. Marine Barracks Warp Interdictor. And we'll buy that to get surplus production going onto the Warp Interdictor right away. Uh, let's think. Let's think real hard. We need to dump some more transports. Because one soldier was not going to hold that. We got nine now. Hopefully he can hold 18. If not, we'll bomb them and then take them over again. Uh, yeah, we needed to manage leaders as well here. It's my best, or my next best multi-colony system. That's production, he's production. Let's see. Yeah, we're, well, actually, Neklon's better than Soul once it gets developed, which will be a long time from now. Five turns, whatever. Maximum damage of a ship by 30 and accuracy. You win! Fighter pilot's really good too, that's accuracy as well. And evade, if I recall correctly. Alright, I guess we move it forward. Yeah, it's our heavier duty upgrade. I guess we do it all again. It'd be nice to lock down this system and get tech. Sorry everybody, this is going to get a little repetitive until we get some real firepower. I guess Disruptor would really help a lot, actually. Except they start at 20. Still, it only does the high end of damage. Yeah, it's worth getting the upgrade. Alright. Good debate, everyone. A lot of sides had a lot of good points. I wonder if once the battle station is gone, if we can go full auto and it'll work out just fine. We've got antimatter drive, so of course we're going to get there a little bit sooner now. 11 on our Titan, it's a beautiful thing. Of course that means we also get rocked pretty hard right at the opening barrage. It's pretty cool. Once you have interphased, you can uh, pretty much... Well, if you do interphased in subspace teleporter, you can get to the battle station immediately. So combined with uh, something like a death ray, you can have, you know, a pretty nice starting setup. And if a weapon system has never been discharged, the battle station can fire it even if you don't have telepathic. 
You can fire their weapons, you just can't reload them. You're mine, like your father before you. Nice. Well done, fusion berms. Okay, time to get rocked, everyone. Woo! You know, if they ever got Xeon missiles, well, I just hope they don't. We'll leave it at that. There we go. Um, I should mention, so we're playing on the 1.4 version of the game. That started as a fan patch that was later accepted as um, it became an official patch, and it's mostly bug fixes. Um, like, some patches changed the game balance quite a bit. Plasma cannons used to only be 10 as their base size. They were bumped up to 25, because they were ruled a little too effective. On the other hand, most of the rest were just fixing bug er, bugs. Uh, and like bad ones, like crash bugs. And ditto for 1.4. There is a 1.5 patch, which is mostly bug fixes as well. With the one caveat that it lets you take more um, negative picks. So technically we could go even further on the super impossible scale. We could just pick every, maybe it only goes to negative 20, I'm not sure, but you might be able to just take every penalty at all. Um, I'm not interested in doing that because you remove, yeah, because screw that. Um, and that one I do actually consider, not that it would affect a super impossible uh, playthrough, but I do consider that one um, bad to do because the game was explicitly designed to limit the number of negative picks you could have. They capped it at negative 10, and I think for good reason. Well, to prevent you from taking really bizarre combinations that involved more than 20 positive points. Man, this is better defended than their home world. Uh, we should still be okay. I mean, we have a huge combat advantage, but yeah, a convincing win. But just a lot can go wrong, so I'm a little touchy. You know, let's just have them crank out a few more transports. I like that. And you guys just keep doing your busy work. No, I love them. They are welcome friends in the Empire. As long as they don't rebel. Yeesh. Well, they're not getting anything done. Is that where their mega fleet is? I'm completely afraid of it. I also don't really know what happened to it, but it certainly wasn't defending their home world, so they can suit themselves. Works for me. Now I'm probably not going to bother. They liberated Cold and Prime. Uh, I hope the transports have arrived. Oh, shoot. There were only two soldiers there, that's why. I was... Mm, I've been thrown off by Master of Orion 1. Or no. I don't know. Some 4X game where you don't get the soldiers back. It doesn't matter. That was me being careless and stupid. Yeah, we're good. Look, you could live in a paradise. Autolab first. You help the Empire first. Oh, 
Oh, that was so stupid of me. That was, I mean, a pretty minor penalty, all things considered. And five turns to get there. And tech? Hey, this could work out. Hydroponic farms, everybody. We're in business. Oh, they were interdicting me. Can't say I'm a fan of these clackons. I don't know how, well. Yeah, Alien Management Center is how. Okay, 11 Marines. They don't officially have a Marine Barracks. I wonder if that's gonna throw things off. Okay, finished Gravity Generator. You can't move, um, move unassimilated population units, unfortunately. And it sucks. That's all. <laughs> End of line. Auto lab first. Oh wait, I actually need to go back there because they have, uh, they're sucking up a lot of money is the short version. Man, not a lot of people here. Okay, they still have 11 marines. I don't know, maybe I should start exterminating these people. A little concerned they're gonna use a missile base against me. Also, the longer I delay, the more likely the Clackons come up with a tech that's gonna be able to resist me. Oh boy. I don't like where this is going. I'll see you all in the next episode.